travel. This week, Germany is in focus. 44 million Americans trace their roots through Germany. And our first-hand look at those connections continues this morning with one of the world's biggest celebrations. GMAT's Lane Lucky is joining us from Oktoberfest in the city of Munich. It's the capital city of Bavaria and the birthplace of a heritage known around the world. Now let's go there live now, Elaine. Sounds like this year the party is about making up for lost time. Yeah, talk about, really, this is the first year uh, of big celebrations after back-to-back -back cancellations due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But this year, it looks like something called inflation might actually be a bit of a buzzkill for a lot of the people here. It's driving up the cost of nearly everything, from all of the food to the trachten, the traditional B Bavarian uh, clothing, such as my lederhosen here. But people are ready to celebrate, and that's not going to stop the celebrations. Rec Record crowds are actually expected this year for Oktoberfest. It's the 188th time. It's that old, yes. The festival got its start back in 1810 as a horse race, marking the wedding of Crown Prince Ludwig to Princess Therese. And today, six million people are expected to fill these fairgrounds, 17 large and 21 small tents, where all the breweries serve up beer in these giant mass crews, big mugs that hold a full liter. They feast on Bavarian delicacies like ox roasted on a spit, roast chicken, skewer grilled fish, and even roasted almonds. There's a real carnival atmosphere here with lots of rides, games, and brass bands. And there is an incredible energy right now. You can see why people really want to keep the party going. More than 5,000 miles away back in East Texas, Kilgore is home to the largest Oktoberfest celebration in our area. And I'm told Kilgore's Oktoberfest actually got its start back in 2016 after the city manager experienced the festival right here in Munich and then decided to bring that spirit home to Texas. So coming up on Saturday, October 14th, downtown Kilgore is going to be the place to be. There's German food, a beer garden, live music, local art vendors, and competitions. They're all planned from 1 to 8 p.m. Now, I got to spend some time with the head brewmeister of Polliner Brewery, one of the biggest in the entire country of Germany. And he was really excited to hear that Oktoberfest is so popular in Texas. Listen to this. Most of the people in Munich, most of them, uh, love uh, the Oktoberfest. So they go there not just once, they go almost every second, third day. And I think it's, it's good to have um, a thing like Oktoberfest all over the world. So people come together, have a few beers. It's a good, good thing. Okay, and here is a pro tip from the brewmeister himself. He says the absolute perfect temperature to enjoy beer, to have it served, is 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That slightly warmer temperature allows you to taste either the bitterness or the sweetness of the beer. So to that, we say Prost. Reporting live this morning in Munich, Germany from Oktoberfest, I'm Lane Lucky. Lane, we appreciate the live coverage and of course just highlighting so many of the ties that East Texas shares with Germany. What a sight to see. Thank you. Of course, you'll want to check out our In Focus section on our websites, KLTV.com and KTRE.com. You can get there by using your smartphone's camera to scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen or you can find it by clicking on the community tab from our home page. You can scroll through our special coverage video and slideshows. Lane Lucky and Lederhosen. Look at that. All right. You're